Yo, that whole ghost writing shit is crazy. How ironic. Halloween. All these ghost stuff that appear. It's about to get crazy, man. Um, what's your thoughts on ghost writing? I know we done kind of talked about this last year. I did a blog. Um, maybe this time last year about ghost writing. It was more or less geared towards the um, female side of battle rap. How a lot of females were being underrated and underestimated. When it came to their bars and their skill set. But now, you know, everything has kind of went full circle and it's really been an issue on the male side of things. I ain't gonna say and do no blog trying to break down what the difference of, between ghost writing is and spawn. Like, you, like, you gotta be real new to the game if you're not clear on the difference. There's clearly a difference. I don't have a problem with spawn. I mean, for you to come up with your material and not have nobody to practice it on, um, you know, kind of makes no sense. You, you know, you got to find a way, I guess, to sharpen your skills, sharpen your performance and shit of that nature. But, you know, I would be kind of be cognizant now moving forward on who the fuck I use to listen to my bars. Like, if they into battle rap, it don't have to be another battle rapper. I get you might not want your fans to know, but I think niggas need to be a little bit more cognizant of who they let in their circle, especially when they doing materials like that. Because niggas can steal bars, niggas can... There's so many things that can transpire, as you can tell. Um, just recently, you know, the biggest talk going on right now with this whole ghost writing shit, the whole suit surf, Howdy Boom, uh, Danny Myers situation going on. It was an interview, a dope interview on Angry Fans Radio yesterday with suit surf. It got real controversial. But it was a pretty good interview. My whole thing about the situation is this. None of this shit would have went down as long as it would have if Surf would have never gave any light to the situation. Or if the situation did happen, you know, the nigga just came clean from the rip. I think there is some type of miscommunication, if you ask me, from the very beginning when the nigga Surf was accused of getting help from Boom. I think Surf looked at that as being accused of getting a ghostwriter, then I feel like your pride got in the way because when it boils down to it, the nigga did a lot of dancing around yesterday on that interview. I mean, he was breaking down a lot of real shit, but, you know, he was, to me, it was like, it was really focusing on the whole situation about, you know, niggas have been sparring and he feel like the new niggas is trying to use that as a, as a tool to bring down top tier niggas trying to take away their worth. And he was making good points on that. John John came on, co-signed it. And I, I mean, I agree with that. But yo, that ain't the issue, my nigga. Like, at the end of the day, the bottom line, we talking about whether you gave you the conversation started on the phone and he texted you back the revision or whether you asking for bars and da da da. The problem is in what got skipped and danced around, tap danced around through this whole situation was that you decided to take that material and use it in the battle versus daylight. Like if a nigga was, that's the problem. Bottom line, ain't no way of getting around it. And I don't know why niggas didn't catch on to that real quick because, you know, real recognized, real, real recognized fit. A nigga not going to do too much of this if he not if he not guilty. You feel what I'm saying? There's no need to. And if a nigga that you feel like you want to on a status anyway, niggas don't really give light to a lot of rumors and gossip and shit like that. Like, you know, we a lot of this type of shit gets swept under the rug. The niggas, even he said, you know, I, I normally swept it under the rug, but, you know, by coming from the horse's mouth, blah, 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 I get that. But my thing, like I said, Joe, you decided to use this shit versus daylight. I don't give a fuck if it was one bar, two bars, three bars. Anything that that nigga Idy Boom used, I don't care who started the whole idea for the scheme or whatever, like, yo, if you used anything that you didn't write, that you didn't come up with, if you actually used this shit in a battle, I mean, something ain't right. That's not smart. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if your man tell you, yo, that shit ain't hot. That shit is corny. Okay, that's fine. But your man and that responsibility is not to say, yo, your shit is corny. Say this way. No. Your shit corny. Go back in the lab and get it together. That's what it is. Like, niggas was playing mad games when it came to that part. I don't know. I could be reaching like a point guard. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, you know, at, and not on some more real nigga shit, but I just feel like, yo, if a nigga know he ain't guilty of something, a nigga not going to get on the fucking radio and have an interview for two, three hours on some shit. My man, he got a battle coming up with arguably, you know, one of the biggest potential cards of the year. 
Nigga spent maybe two, three minutes on that bed. You know what I'm saying? I know the nigga wanted to handle the situation, so I ain't really knocking that. But, you know, it's just why I wouldn't expect that much time. I wouldn't give that shit no light if it wasn't true. I just feel like the nigga knew from the muscle off the top that he probably got a, a system from Adi Boom himself. You know, form of fashion, but the way niggas was coming at him, you know, and the way these new battle rap fans, the way y'all niggas come at niggas without really knowing what y'all saying and knowing to separate, he probably was feeling like niggas was saying, yo, this nigga Adi is ghostwriting for you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I thought that was crazy. I really thought it was miscommunication. I think that if, if Surf would have just, you know, took time out to recognize, like, yo, okay, yo, the nigga did help me. I'm even gonna put that out there, or I'm just not gonna speak on it at all. That was just your best bet. Getting on radio, doing all the interview and all that. You know, you kind of set yourself up. Um, I even saw rumors of people feeling like the radio show, the interview was a, a bad look for battle rap. Um, I don't feel like that at all, man. Salute to the Angry Fan Radio. I thought that was a dope show. Um, three hours in the afternoon on a Saturday. It was a, it was a real it was a real good look. And, and and though the topic of discussion, you know what I'm saying, might not be part, might not be positive, there was still an elephant in the room and it's not going away. So, you know, it had to be addressed, but you know, I'm not sure how much that show really um, resulted in any, anything, you know, we still got some shit up in the air. Now, Danny Myers come on the air, and Danny, um, you know, I fucks with Danny, but, you know, Danny Myers got on the air, and he had some information that he was going to start to disclose, but then, you know what I mean, shit got a little heated, then he opted to, to let some things out, then he kind of backtracked, and, you know, decided to wait for the green light for um, Adi Bo. Let me say this to you, Danny, and I'm talking to you from the outside end because, you know, you look out for me. That's true. There's no doubt about that you have. Um, for the culture as a whole, I'll put it like that. But I'm just going to keep it real with you. Y'all niggas got to stop saying that y'all niggas homeboys and that's your man and all that. And if that really ain't the fucking facts. Like, yo, how can you say a nigga's your man and your homeboy, but you got to reach out to ARP or somebody else? To get jail contact information when that, when shit like that when people say shit like that when when I see shit like that go down your ear immediately draws a red flag to me. Don't bro me if you don't know me. If it's cool to feel like we associates, we affiliates, we rock out, we in the same you know profession, da da da. But all this my man, my homeboy shit, yo, come on, man, that's not your man. You know what I'm saying? If that's your man, you would have all that information you know off the top. That's number one. Number two. You know better. You knew from the muscle that you should have got the green light for, you know what I mean, exposing or putting anything out there. Now, you didn't drop the actual text messages, you know what I mean? And, you know, I looked and seen the comment that you said after speaking to somebody else, you decided to, you know, get the green light. That's what you should have did from the rip. Do not let these media platforms, I do radio, I mean, you already know what it is, but do not let us, do not let the fans, you know what I mean, like, you playing games with, with, with credibility that, you know what I'm saying, is well deserved in my opinion on your end, Danny. You, you can't be doing shit like that. Like, I understand that niggas, you know, you saw niggas making the accusations and, they, and the fans felt like the accusations by math and them was, you know, false and all that. Yo, but it's not your responsibility, my nigga, even if you got the proof. It's not your responsibility to feel like, yo, I need to speak on this and speak up because people feel like that shit. Is a lot. So the fuck what? So the fuck what? This battle rap shit is wrestling. Half of this shit that goes down ain't real. And you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, none of that shit really makes no difference. You feel what I'm saying? The nigga surf still going to get paid. You know what I'm saying? It's, and, and, and it's, it's just a lot of BS. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, I don't think that it's over. You know, a lot of little slick shit was said. You know, niggas going to definitely need to hit back from the Heidi Boom. Um, but the shit was just clownish, you know what I'm saying? I just think that it's crazy, but, you know, not to just lock in so much on an interview, but just goes right over all you like me. I don't I don't have a problem, like I said, with niggas hitting. People call me up, let me listen to their rounds and all that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I would let them know what the facts is, but I wouldn't give niggas, you know, even if I give niggas advice, it was your responsibility or it's your decision to take the advice and, and moving forward, how you use it. I don't give a fuck if it was one ball, one round. Once the nigga, you know what I'm saying, so decided to take the shit and use it. That's where the fucking problem is.
happens. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga could have screenshot this shit all day long. You see what he said when he when he talked about Tay Rock. He gave Tay Rock or, or I think he said Tay Rock was somebody how he gave somebody some advice and you know a nigga didn't use it, but you know it is what it is. That's what the nigga sir should not have done. That was the problem. You know what I'm saying? Even if the nigga would have the screenshot, don't mean nothing. The fact that you actually use this shit, you know that's where the problem lies. So you know I think there was a lot of dancing around the the main topic of the shit. He was speaking a lot of facts. You know what I'm saying? A lot of facts. The sponsorship has definitely been going on, you know, for a long time. And I'm just speaking from a fan's perspective. Um, but no, my nigga. No. It's, it's, it's not going down. So um, I'm done, man. Seven Mitchell with this little blog. I know I kind of stopped doing blogs or bad rap. Um, but, you know, I just had to speak on this ghost right shit because it just got a little bit crazy um, the last couple of days, especially yesterday. But, you know, uh, again, a dope interview. Um, by Angry Fans Radio on uh, Sue Surf and this whole Ghost Right shit. It was crazy. Join me, myself, and my debate panel, T7M Radio, the culture, every Sunday and Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. Salute to everybody that chop it up with us all my debate panel. Also, join our T7M Radio Facebook debate group as well. Always got some crazy debates lined up for y'all in there. Um, we have a new show, one-on-one debate show. Me, brother Jeff, my journalist, T7 and Radio. It's called Crossroads. It's a one-on-one battle rap debate podcast. We're soon to have a moderator as well. This show is going to be a once-a-week show. It's going to be so crazy when it comes to exclusive elephant in the room type of debate topics for battle rap. We're going to be tackling three of those per episode. So y'all definitely get tuned in to Crossroads with myself and brother Jeff on T7 and Three four seven nine eight nine eighty one zero two is the number, man. To the coach every Sunday and Wednesday night. Once again, y'all stay safe. I appreciate y'all taking time out. Happy Halloween, man. The ghosts everywhere, man. You already know what it is. Salute.